It's Malbec World Day, yeah. a day dedicated to celebrating Argentina's flagship grape. And we are celebrating a little bit early. <laughs> we didn't even have Celebrate this in the shot. Celebrate early and often. There we go. Wine expert Yannick Benjamin, who is also the co-founder of an all-inclusive all restaurant in New York called Contento. Good morning to you, Yannick. Yannick. Good morning, and thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure. So you're, you, the restaurant, first of all, is in East Harlem, yes? That is correct, yeah. Um, so, um, 88 East 2011 Street. Perfect. Um, perfect. So we have, uh, we have two of the wines that you're going to be talking about. Which one are we going to be starting with? Yeah, so um, we're celebrating uh, World Malbec Day, which actually happens um, tomorrow. Um, it's a wonderful grape. It's, it finds its origins in the southwest part of France in a, in a specific place called Cahors. So a lot of these um, Basque immigrants from the southern part of France, northern part of Spain, took cuttings of this grape, planted them primarily in Argentina and other parts of South America. And it, ever since, it's just completely thrived. And it's done very well here in the American market. And the reason for it is it's full body, it's spicy, it's got a lot of generosity and lots of floral notes, pretty complex, and just a very likable and appro approachable wine. Um, when yeah, it's tell us a little bit about your journey uh, and your restaurant, because you have been on a mission to uh, open doors for people of all abilities, right? Yeah, so myself, I'm, uh, I was in a car accident um, in 2003. I am paralyzed. And prior to that, I had always worked in restaurants. Um, when I transitioned from being a non-disabled person to a person with a disability, um, there were a lot of uh, learning curves for sure. And certainly a lot of obstacles that I had faced because there weren't many people with disabilities working in the hospitality industry. And so it was really a dream come true when I had the opportunity a couple of years ago to open up a restaurant and really kind of you know, cr create something that was really thoughtful for uh, people with disabilities, not just people on wheelchairs, but people from the low vision community, people hard of hearing and so on. Um, we have 61 million Americans that have a disability. So it's really important um, that we, um, you know, provide a place that's safe and comfortable for people with disabilities. And, and I think that's what Contento has become for so many. And I, you know, I, I think a lot of this, this journey that you're talking about um, is really a lack of vision uh, because of things, how things have always been done. And then someone comes along and says, hey, we can change this. And it's really not that big of a deal to make this more inclusive so we can all share in the responsibility and share in our joy of hospitality, right? Right. No, absolutely. For sure. I mean, like I said, I, I never really had a connection to the world of disability. I have a, a, a grandfather that, uh, that was blind, a cousin that was blind, and then another cousin that was actually um, on a wheelchair as well, who, who had the same injury as I. But I, I never really it never really occurred to me how making these, you know, thoughtful kind of uh, modifications, you know, uh, uh, making the doorways wider, making sure that you have menus in Braille, making sure that the font was lar larger, being aware of the sound because there are people who are hard of hearing, just so you can make it um, a real comfortable experience. And I think it's just really important. You know, there's a really interesting st statistic that I think that's really important. You know, 61 million Americans that have a disability, and within that they have over 500 billion um, dollars of spending power. And so I think that's something that's really important to keep in mind, that people want to go out, people want to enjoy themselves, right? But they want to make sure that they're being treated with respect and dignity. And I think that the more that we can create these inclus inclusive spaces, the more that we're going to see people with disabilities out and about. Okay, so we want to taste a little bit of this yeah, we're wine almost out of time we here. Know. We've been talking so much. But <laughs> Tell what, us about the Tilia. The... Yeah, so the Tilia, um, a wonderful wine. Um, practicing sustainability, um, one of the few uh, places, I mean, one of the first places to really make a mission out of this. Um, unbelievable work that they're doing. Um, they've enabled over 20% of women to work during harvest. So just really great stuff. Um, no chemicals that are added to this wine. Um, just again, social sustainability and also um, farming practices that are just A plus. So highly recommend that Tilia is a wine that you can find at a lot of your local wine stores, primarily Vinny's Beverage Depot. And again, complex, full-bodied, um, beautiful notes of chocolate and vanilla. Goes with so many different dishes, so I highly recommend that. And then oh. the next one that we're, we're gonna talk about very quickly is uh, 
the High Note Malbec, um, which retails for $14. Um, again, you can find this wine at a, your local uh, Sky Beverage Depot, Golden Leaf Liquors. Um, and this is a wine that's, you know, that, that these grapes are grown on high altitude, 5,000 feet. So you get more acidity, um, uh, more delicate aromas, you know, beautiful red fruits, hints of black pepper spice, rosemary thyme. So really just a delicious wine. And it's planted in one of the highest vineyards in the world. So it's wow. a really unique wine in that sense. Um, I absolutely love it and adore it. All right. And, uh, Very last but not nice. And we, so, of course... We are out of time. We, of so. course. So we're just going to have to drink this <laughs> off camera. We'll drink the wine and we'll talk about it later, okay? <laughs> we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. No and and uh, can't wait to visit your restaurant when we're, in New, when we're in New York. And you can learn much more about Yannick Benjamin at his websites posted on your screen. Top stories coming up next.